This is Bonnie Dean from Chief Left Hand Knits. Uh, today's video tutorial is about working short rows in pattern. Uh, as you can see, there is a shoulder sl slope here where I have worked here, then here, then here, then here in short rows. And in order to have the pattern be um, continuous, um, you have to work in pattern so that you maintain two knit rows, two purl rows, two knit rows, two purl rows with the corresponding purl column here and here. This is for the fan and head sweater and vest. I'm just going to demo that these are regular wrap and turn stitches, not German short rows or anything like that. Um, there are twisted stitch columns here and here. And those uh, stitches as viewed from the front, those columns of stitches as viewed from the front are never uh, wrapped. So I'm up to the wrap stitch, the stitch I'm going to wrap um, with yarn on the wrong side. The stitch is slipped Purlwise, the yarn is brought to the right side, the wrap stitch is moved back to the right needle, the work is turned, and I'm going to be um, working this stitch in pattern, which requires to purl it. And so if I need to purl the, the uh, next stitch after the wrap stitch, then the yarn must be moved to the wrong side. If, on the other hand, the next stitch is a knit stitch, um, you do not need to bring the uh, working yarn to the wrong side. When one comes to knitting up the wraps on the right side, you have to follow the pattern. Uh, in this case, there is a purl column here, purl column here, twisted stitch column here, twisted stitch column here. So you have to figure out what to do between the twisted stitch columns. This is a wrapped stitch and this is a wrap stitch. So we're gonna knit up this wrap and knit up this wrap, maintaining the twisted stitch columns. Now, I hope you can see this. Um, there's two rows of pearls here and two rows of knits here, two rows of pearls here. So um, in order to maintain the purl two rows, knit two rows, purl two rows. These two stitches have to be knit to, and this one, the wrap stitch, has to be a purl one. So I'm going to knit two stitches. And then the this is a whole purl column, so I have to get this stitch and its wrap onto the left needle and purl it. Next, there's purl two rows, knit two rows, so um, these stitches in here have to be purled, purl, purl, and purl column. This is a twisted stitch knit, as outlined in the pattern. So to knit this in pattern, so purl two rows, knit two rows, now I have to purl this row, and purl the final wrap stitch so I have to get the, the uh, st stitch and its wrap up on the needle and purl it. 
and then continue to the end. The last thing that's required is to knit up the wraps or purl up the wraps on the wrong side on the way back. This is a wrap stitch. This is a wrap stitch. So let's figure out what we have to do here. So this column of stitches is all knitted from the, uh, as viewed from the wrong side. So this wrap together with that stitch has to be knitted. You already have um, a purl column here. This may or may not be visible to you, but this is a purl column. This stitch has to be purled. These two stitches um, have not completed the uh, knitted two rows. You have two purl rows here and you have one row of knit here. So this stitch and this stitch need to be knitted. Um, and this stitch needs to be knitted because these, uh, this is a knitted row. So this stitch and that wrap need to be knitted together. I have the wrap on my needle. Now I have the stitch on my needle. I wrap the entire thing and pull it through and I'm knitting the stitch together with the wrap. Next I have a purl stitch. Next I have two knitted stitches. And then that final maneuver to make this in pattern, I go in to the wrap and then into the stitch, wrap as if to knit, pull it through and off. You also can turn it to the right side if you have any questions at all about working in pattern. You can turn the work around and inspect it just as if you did, uh, just as if, as, if um, as you did uh, working on the right side. Uh, there are clear instructions for um, working the short rows in the fan and head pattern. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you join the knit along.